Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards? Love Tarot, an oracle card reading for February 2024. This is a love reading for all Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So today's reading will be a love reading, but I also post new readings on Friday and Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. I may do a bonus love reading in February, all right? It's probably um, a Valentine's week, so Tuesday or Wednesday there. So if you don't mind hitting the like button, I appreciate it because it will put this reading in the algorithm so people see it. But then if I do a bonus reading, YouTube will make sure that it gets into your algorithm so you know it's available. All right, what advice do you have for cancer to attract the love of their lives into their lives? What does Cancer need to know about love, please? So we will draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting. And then the Oracle cards have already been shuffled. So we're going to pull a Moonology card here. I like that. And we'll pull a Whispers of Love as well. All right. Oh, good. Okay, good. All right. Your energy, guys. You have the Death card, the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Their energy, they've got the Hanged Man, the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. The advice, you've got the Magician, the Five of Pentacles, and the Tower. So let go to receive, all right? If somebody, too, was not honest with you, I feel like it's time to bring in somebody new. There, There's something about that with the Seven of Swords and this energy down here. Um, and if it's something too, there's an ending and a new beginning. That's what they're trying to tell you. So I definitely feel like you're attracting a match here. Um, but we're going to have to talk about that. So you have the new moon in Libra. Know you are loved. I also hear know your worth. So if you had a relationship where someone took advantage of you, or someone perhaps had, it was a financial situation where you got, uh, is, I heard scammed. I don't like that word necessarily. Or even if there was an abrupt and sudden departure, I feel like you're attracting a new relationship. That's what this is about. And so those of you that want reconciliation, you might want to come back for the love reading in a couple of weeks to see about that. Consider, or maybe it's next week actually, but anyway, consider your foundation Look at how committed you are to love. So especially the singles or even if you're in a relationship right now that has some difficulties or challenges in it, it really examining your own energy because we get what we think and think and feel about, especially the feelings. I remember one time years ago, a relationship in my life ended and I remember sitting on the couch and thinking after I had had an interaction with my partner, I don't love this person guess what happened? It ended. I wasn't planning on ending it either, but it's like, I just remember thinking, I don't think I love this person. And so I should have seen that coming, but I was younger. I was not as in tune with my energy. And so that kind of stuff, we got to be clear about it. So your energy, you've got a nice point of attraction, but you're attracting a deep commitment here. And I'm telling you with that death card, we've got three major arcana here. I do feel like there's something about bringing in someone different, very different from what you might have normally attracted. And so that death card, we've got Scorpio here, we've got Earth, Air, and we do have Water too. But I'll tell you what, the, the death card is one of the most transformational cards. It is an exhilarating new beginning. You are headed towards something that is going to run deep. And so especially if you had a relationship that you do, you didn't feel secure in, or if you're having insecurity in a relationship, I do feel like you may have a big turning point in that relationship. It will either be a conversation that you're both on board with, or again, it's about attracting somebody new because we don't want to be with somebody anyway who isn't a fit. It's not sustainable. So you've got an awakening. You've got this period of awakening. And if you say that, yes, you're single and you've been in the period of awakening for a while, with the Eight of Cups, you're attracting a new energy. You're attracting somebody who will be deep, someone who will be a true partner for you. So the Queen of Cups, you and your own energy, isn't that delightful? 
You are going to be like a magnet for people. Expect to be complimented. Expect people to talk to you for long periods of time where you're going, okay, I got I to gotta figure out a polite way to get myself out of this conversation. Expect people to do nice little things for you. All the little stuff. You know, you're at Aldi and somebody hands you a cart and says, keep the quarter right? Or keep the, keep, give it to the next person. We just moving this along. It's all those little day-to-day -day things that tell you your energy is vibrant and it's high vibrational. So with the queen of cups, it's also a card too that tells you to make sure that you're making room for self-care. If you like to have a cup of tea and some meditation and some quiet time, make sure that's a priority. You know, I oftentimes say with this, I, I'm an athlete by nature. I like to work out. I like to, you know, do a variety of physical things because that's just who I am. But I wouldn't go months without going to the gym. I don't go months without meditating and self-care. I feel like in our society, we tend to make that out, put that on the back burner first. All right. We go, well, the other priorities, I don't have time for this. I mean, it's spiritual development. If you want to get fit in the gym, you go, you know, you go on a consistent and a consistent basis. If you want to be spiritually fit, we got to be spiritual, do spiritual activities that feed our souls on a consistent basis. Because really with this, it's also too about that brain heart coherence or co cohesion or coherence, I guess, whatever, however you want to say it being one so that there's not two of us running around, right? Where the brain is one, the soul is another. We want to integrate. And from there, I'll tell you what, this is an interesting person you're attracting. I love the page of pentacles here. So that yellow in the background indicates a, it's a very positive color in the tarot. It indicates success. I feel like if you are you had an ending, you're going to see something about the, the person that ended or you ended things with that you will not unsee. And I do feel like you're going to bring in a new person. So I actually feel like this is more than one person's energy showing up in the cards here. If you had a seven of swords, if you maybe even caught them, or if you're in a relationship where you have to go through somebody's phone, my God, what is that? No. I mean, we don't want to be in that where we have to. It reminds me of like being loss prevention at a store. You know, and sometimes we know that there's bias, right? Not sometimes, a lot of the time there's bias in programs like that where we're wandering around, they're wandering around tailing people or innocent shoppers. But with this, I do feel like there's something about that. If you're having to look over somebody's shoulder, it's not sustainable. It just is not. And so you have something there with the hangman that brings in a change of heart, a light bulb moment. And I'll tell you what I like about it. The hangman is somebody who is an open book. You see how the hangman has his arms and his leg behind his back? And it is a male figure. It's genderless, really, and the, the tarot is genderless. However, considering that, he's full open vulnerable on that front side. He got nothing to protect himself because he doesn't need to. It's somebody who does not have anything to hide. And so it may be somebody different than you normally attract. You might even say, God, this is weird. I don't, I wouldn't have normally picked this while your heart will whisper the truth. Your heart is doing the asking. Your heart is doing the choosing. And so with that page of pentacles, this person is going to absolutely adore you. You don't have to work at this because it's easy. It's natural. It's supposed to be happening. So with that page of pentacles and the hangman, whoever this person is, they're upbeat. They're optimistic. They have, a, they may be somebody who loves trivia or loves to read or watch movies or something like that where they, and I'm talking about movies that are based on factual things. They may be a huge movie buff in general. Um, they might have multiple streaming services just to kind of quench that, but I like this person's energy a whole lot. So I'll tell you what, with that five of pentacles and tower with the magician, this is some of the most transformational energy. You have your love life is about to get a huge makeover. The tower comes in because something's not sustainable. We're not supposed to be here to be driven nuts by another person. And so with the tower, it's an awakening. It is a overthrow of perception. So you may see the, the light in somebody. You may see things come to light about someone. And I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, there is an ending. I just get this feeling of change or moving on to something better. Because with that, you do have a partner there. But I still feel like it's more about something that you get revealed or something that becomes part of your awareness. Because with the tower, it's a tower built on sand. 
it's not here to stay forever. And so we let go to receive one of the greatest paradoxes in the universe. So if you're sleeping diagonal on the bed, get over to one side, clean out some drawers. If you've got your ex's stuff and you think, I don't know if this is coming back, get rid of it. Even if you're trying for reconciliation, sometimes that's what does it. We clean out the energy and then they come running because we're disconnected and they can feel it. But with the magician, you're bringing heaven to earth. So when I say that, you're bringing heaven to earth. If your ex is not heaven on earth, then it's about somebody new. And with the magician energy, it's somebody who brings a lot to the table. Their energy feels light and clean and easy and easy to be with. It's not complicated and heavy. You're not sifting and sorting through contrast saying you take the good with the bad in people. You won't need to do that with this, this person because there's so much good. So I definitely feel like, yes, it's in the cards, but it has to do with an ending and it has to do with you being on your own terms and being okay with that. So let's see now, Cancer, what the angels want to offer about love here for you. What else does Cancer need to know about love? Advice, please, for Cancer to attract the love of their lives into their lives. You've got success. This always reminds me of the chariot, you and your own energy. You've got abundance showing up. So no, you might have more than one, but I definitely feel like there's somebody coming in. Communicate clearly. So let the universe know exactly the qualities that you're looking for, and it will be delivered because you are ready and you've got a yes, all right? Yes, it's in the cards. I love you too, Cancer, and I'll be back again soon.